Welcome back, eh? This is the Canadian Silver Seeker, and I hope you guys are having another great day like I am. I got more packages in the mail after my vacation, and I had to share this one with you guys too. I took advantage with this specific package. I did find it on my vacation at a coin dealer for the original Royal Canadian Mint price, which is about $529.95, I believe. But I had also found this coin on an eBay seller at Gate West in Winnipeg. I had made them an offer on eBay. I asked them what their bottom dollar might be. Um, I didn't expect too much of a deal on this particular item. Hard to get into there. Didn't expect too much of a deal on this item because it was already pay, uh, priced at the original Royal Canadian Mint price at $529.95. But they did offer me a deal. Um, I took that offer and I was smart. I actually uh, reached out to the seller. I found them online. They had themselves a website. And I found this particular coin on their website as well. I said, hey, you guys just offered me a deal on this coin. I'd like to purchase it. I know that you have to pay eBay a certain percentage. How about if I purchase it from you directly? And would you give me a slightly better deal? They did give me a slightly better deal. And they sent me this particular coin right here. This is the 2019 $1 fine silver coin. It's the 70th anniversary of the Newfoundland joining Canada. It is 999 pure silver. And it doesn't say it on there, but it should be 5 ounces. Let's take a look together. We got the certificate of authenticity down there. Let's take a look at that first. So, 70th anniversary of Newfoundland joining Canada. There are only 1,000 of these particular coins minted, and this is 875. You can pause that there if you'd like to read the certificate. Sixty five point two five millimeters, hundred and fifty seven point six grams of pure silver. And it has the Matthew on it, just like the two thousand and fourteen with a Latin inscription. May the Newfoundland flourish. Put that away and take a look at this beautiful, beautiful coin. Like I said, I did get a deal on this. I got it for cheaper than the original RCM, Royal Canadian Mint pricing or listing. I was very happy with that. This is my first 5 ounce Canadian silver dollar to add to my collection. Oh, and that is a very nice, I like the backing on that. Very, very nice. Wow, I gotta zoom in on that. That is so nice. My blind eyes, I believe those are maples. Yep, they sure are. Look at that. Like a big maple and like a small maple. Very interesting. So, like I say, uh, this particular one is my first uh, five ounce Canadian silver dollar. Uh, very nice thickness on that. Very nice weight in my hand. Very, very much liking the uh, face of that. And as well as this face. This one is very similar. Basically commemorating the... 1949 Canadian silver dollar with the uh, 
Terra Nova on it there, or the Matthew and the Latin inscription. And this one was just to commemorate the induction of Newfoundland into Canada way back in 1949, I guess. They also, in 2019, came out with a... Let me sneak into the back here, into my collection that I picked up on holidays. They came out with the one ounce Canadian silver dollar, the Matthew. This one almost looks like a reverse proof, as you can tell. Very, very nice looking coin. I actually kind of, I think I kind of per prefer the reverse proof. The uh, reverse proof, they say, is, uh, I'm actually going to look some information up there. They say it's twice the thickness. Now, whether it actually is or not, I'm not sure. This particular coin, I couldn't actually find um, at any of the places that I first visited until I went to West Edmonton Mall and I had already purchased it um, from, uh, once, a co once again, a coin dealer. I went to eBay. I found a coin dealer that was selling it for cheap. It was BC Coin Mart here. And I found that they had a website. I reached out to them directly. And I got myself a deal because I just happened to be in the area. My uh, One of my Airbnbs was less than like a 10 or 15 minute drive from this gentleman's residence. And so I went and picked up this very, very nice coin. This would be my first uh, graded coin, I guess you could say. Um, I don't think this grading is uh how would you say official um i looked online i couldn't see any information about this gentleman or his uh business um he said he had been in the business for years so i think he's a uh, a coin collector seller and i think this grading is uh you know his best opinion um whether you would get that same grade if you were to send it off to ncg um or like uh, authenticators I, I honestly don't know like I say this is my first graded coin but I am very happy I'm gonna cut out here for a second sorry about that and back had to look up a whole bunch of information that I previously looked up about this coin this particular coin from 2019 is unique in multiple different aspects it's unique in the fact that it is the only one ounce Canadian silver dollar. It weighs 31.39 grams. It's made of pure silver. Um, its actual diameter is actually smaller than the regular silver dollar. It's 34 millimeters in diameter, whereas the original silver dollar is 36, just over 36 millimeters in diameter made of pure silver the original is made of 80 percent silver its actual silver weight um, is about 0.6 of an ounce of actual silver um, whereas this one is one ounce of silver just slightly over it is the only canadian silver dollar with these attributes um, and it's the only canadian silver dollar that has both the 80% version, the one ounce pure version, and a five ounce pure version as well. Um, they classify this as I may be uh, butchering this, but a P Fort or a Pi Fort coin, I'll put it on there. Um, they say in the Royal Canadian Mint that it is double the thickness. Um, a PD foot corn is twice the thickness of, of a typical coin. That means double the amount of pure silver. Um, this is, I don't know, odd or maybe misleading information. Um, I could not find, um, I, I almost guarantee that if I was to stack up two regular silver dollars from 2019, 
um, or two of these 80% silver dollars, they would be thicker, the two of them, than this one. I cannot find a thickness of this coin um, online anywhere. If anyone can and would like to let me know, I would love to know the thickness because they don't really want to take it out of this package, being that it's thicker than an average coin. They don't have a coin case for it. Um, that would be anything better than what it's in currently and plus just because of the the uh, the uh, I guess the arbitrary uh, uh, coin uh, opinion of its grading as well so um, like I say this is uh, in 2019 this is odd information that says it's double the amount of pure silver well double of what um, the original has actual silver weight of 0.6 of an ounce. This is only one ounce or just slightly over. It's not 1.2. Um, a regular coin from 2019 has a diameter, uh, a, like a commemorative silver dollar in Canada, has a diameter of 35.9 sorry give me two seconds 30 yeah 35.9 millimeters so almost 36 millimeters they changed the diameter in order to um, make the actual silver weight of them since they're pure from 2012 to present to be uh, about three quarters of an ounce of actual silver weight 23.1 grams from 2012 to 2000 and uh, until present 2023 so those ones are about three quarters of an ounce of silver so this isn't double that um so it seems to be a little bit misleading of information but like i say this is the only canadian silver dollar that is a uh, one ounce or just over one ounce the only ones that are also silver um are al al also almost one ounce are the canadian peace dollars between 2020 um, to 2023 they made Canadian peace dollars and they're actually just under one ounce I will be doing a video on one of those because that was another special thing that I was looking for um, and I did find it at West Edmonton Mall coin and stamp store um, and so that's where I ended up buying the peace dollar this one like I say I got cheaper because I basically used eBay and the seller's actual website to get myself a the best deal possible didn't get a certificate of authenticity with this um, other than the coin grading does say that the within their opinion that this is a valid uh, authentic coin so genuine original item yeah, anyways, a uh, lot of information about this coin. I hope we didn't miss anything. I'm going to have to edit this video because I had to look up some information. But I hope you guys like. Remember, it doesn't cost you a single piece of silver or gold to like and subscribe. You guys mean the world to me. Happy sailing, eh?